We've seen this before, though not in this form. Uh, this is what will be the electronic load, the four up, the real deal. Today we're going to water cool it. Um, yeah, I bought the wrong size pipes. <laughs> and uh, basically, when I saw that we got the wrong size pipes, tubes, whatever you want to say, I thought that was a great sign that, uh, you know, I shouldn't just rush through these things. You know, I should uh, take you along for the journey and really, um, I don't know, just share the experience with you. So, got some uh, PVC tubing that is the right size. And we're going to install this in the system and ultimately get her all ready to go. Let's get started. Um, a couple things that we may have already discussed, but perhaps not, and even if we did, perhaps this is your first video. Uh, the Keenite among you might be thinking, hey, shouldn't there be some star washers between that board and those contacts? And to that I say, yeah, probably. <laughs> but I don't have those on hand at the moment. Uh, yeah, it's basically just power supplies installed where the power supply is supposed to go. We got that 24 pin connector coming up top and uh, power to the pump and the fans and all that. Um, we've just got the correct size tubing then a bunch of these pipe clamps um, in retrospect, you know, like for example, this one up here in the radiator, probably gonna need to pull the radiator out to actually install the tube. Um, but before we do that, I wanna just trial all of the tubing runs, kind of get them cut and installed. And uh, yeah, um, basically I'm gonna throw on some music. We're gonna time-lapse this and This is where we need to talk coolant. Um, 
Now some people would tell you that I'm insane because this is an automotive antifreeze and this is a mixed metal cooling loop. What are we doing? Well, you see, some will tell you this will make your system die. Some will tell you you need to dilute this. Some will tell you it's fine. Some will say it's not. Some will say it's better. Some will say it's worse. It's worse. But you know what I think? I think there's enough people conflicting on the internet that it just makes me disappointed. Like, I'm just disappointed when I look into whether or not this will work. So here's what I did. I went online and I took a look at some of the uh, available information about the plastics. This is PVC. This is like a clear PVC. Um, or clear vinyl tubing or whatever you want to call it. Um, these blocks are made of copper. These are aluminum rads and the plastics used in this pump, including the acrylic, are shown to not have any appreciable effect when left in contact with propylene glycol, which is what's in here for 30 days. Now they didn't say what happens more than 30 days after that. Maybe things will get brittle, maybe they'll just be fine, but the reactivity of these plastics to this coolant is almost none. I can't think of a better coolant. Basically every coolant available for PC water cooling does not allow for mixing metals and this coolant does. So we've got aluminum and copper together and I think that using aluminum and copper together with a coolant made to use aluminum and copper together or highly reactive metals, anti-corrosive agents that are gonna be very, very important. I think that's going to be better than using something that's made for PCs in this case. After all, this isn't a computer. This is an electronic load. <laughs> this, my dear viewers, <laughs> is the point of no return. <laughs> is there something I forgot? I don't know, I guess we're about to find out. Looks good so far. Even Luna's celebrating. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh, I just spilled that all over the place. Oh, I forgot a critical piece about filling a water cooling system. There's some pressure when you shove liquid in. All right, I'm gonna go grab some towels. But I'm really happy that this just sprayed all over the place. And <laughs> and the reason why that gets me excited is because that means it's sealed really well. That means that we were pushing liquid, and you can see the air like fights. The air needs to fight its way back out. So basically I'm just keeping this tube as high as I can, trying to get it to trickle down so it doesn't actually make a seal and let's Let's cool it back out. Yeah, this seems to be working really well. I'll just keep trying this. Honestly, we're pushing a lot of fluid into this system. This is awesome. Uh, so in true EE for everyone fashion, this is my first time building a water cooling loop for any purpose, PC or otherwise. Isn't that exciting? I think that's exciting.
There are so many air bubbles in this thing. A cool milestone. It's a really cool milestone. Here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna let this thing run for a little bit longer. I'm gonna let this loop get out all the air bubbles. And once that's done, we're gonna throw the side panel on this thing. We are going to test this device. And hey, I'm so excited that you were here today. I'm so excited that you took this step of the journey with us. And uh, if you like this video, let me know by hitting that like button, getting subscribed, or leaving a comment down below. Um, we're going to have some great testing videos coming up in the days, weeks to come. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I can't wait to find out how the coolant works. I can't wait to find out how good the thermal performance is if we start tripping the over-temperature protection. We've got the LED indicators that will let us know. But... Uh, <laughs> Woo! Yeah, those fans turn. All right, good. Yeah, that, that one's on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. So uh, anyways, if you want to make sure you don't miss it, hit that like button, get subscribed, and uh, maybe check out the links in the description. I'm sure we'll have some schematics or links to some of the stuff that we used down there. Fantastic. All right. Well, that's all for now. And uh, most of all, Hope that you learned something great today, and I hope to see you again soon. So thank you for watching Eat Forever Run. Thanks for staying till the end. Bye!